fourth installment to my Harrods Spring Summer 11 trends and this one is called Decal Doll. So if you like this look and you want to know how I achieved it then please keep watching. So for this look the face is quite highlighted and very well covered so I've already put on a lighter shade of foundation in the middle of my nose underneath my eyes just to highlight those areas so I'm just going to work that in and blend that in to my foundation that I've already applied. So I've just placed this on in areas where I would norm where the light would normally hit my face. Now that I've done that I'll get my normal foundation and I'm just gonna Place that to further blend that in. So we're just blending those highlighted areas with your normal foundation so that it matches your skin tone and isn't too drastic. And also place that over your lips as well to mute out the colour any pigmentation that you may have. Bags underneath my eyes are just ridiculously big today. I just want them to go away. <laughs> okay so the next thing you need to do is apply your false lashes. I'm just going to do mine off camera and then I'll come back and show you. Okay I forgot to mention there that um, before I placed on my lashes I put a thin, a very thin layer of liquid eyeliner on the top lid to help the eyelashes blend in. So now that I've applied my um, those the top lashes, for this look you need some bottom lashes as well. So I'm going to take some individual lashes that I picked up in uh, Brixton, and these ones, and I'm just going to get them and place them on to the bottom, along the bottom lash line. And I'm going to apply those using the eyelash glue for my top um, lashes. So I'm just going to place that onto the plastic container that the lashes came in. So I'm just going to put a pool of that and then I will dip the individual lashes into that. And you just need to make sure that you have the lashes facing the right direction when you're applying them, obviously, because you don't want them curling up into your actual eye. So, yeah. So I'm just going to apply two of those on camera and then I'm going to apply the rest off camera just to show you how I do it. So just going to get a little bit of glue on that. I'm just going to place that so I'm turn this way for you. Start to roll. Yeah, you just place it just there. I'll do the next one. And I'm basically applying it with the eyelash glue because obviously I'm not going to be... You, you don't want uh, fake lashes to be permanently on your bottom lash line. This is quite a dramatic look. That's the second one like that. Okay so I'm just going to put on the rest and I'll be right back with you. Okay so now that I've done that I'm going to get a some scissors and trim them just so that they are going out like that so that it blends in more of my actual eyelashes. And my natural eyelashes are here but I haven't applied the mascaras yet so I'm just going to go and trim them and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to apply my mascaras to help them blend in with my natural lashes. And the mascara that I'm using today is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And I'm just going to be applying the mascara on the inner, on my actual lashes.
And you need to be very careful when doing this so that you don't get it on your face. But if you do get it on underneath your um on your actual um underneath your eyes, you can go back in with your foundation brush and just smooth that out with whatever you have left on some concealer. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of concealer as well under there. I'm going to use my Prescriptives uh, Level 4, I believe it is. It's quite a light concealer. So I'm just going to apply that sparingly, mainly towards the inner corner of the eyes. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go into my NYX Professional Makeup Artist Kit. I probably should have done this before, but I forgot. And I'm going to use this colour here. It's like a, almost a skin colour, but quite shimmery. And I'm just going to use my um, eyeshader brush that I got from H&M. So I'm just going to go into that colour. I'm just going to load up the brush on both sides. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid to give the lid some sort of shine and um, a dewy effect. Okay, now that I've done that, the only thing that's left to do now is apply blusher. And the blusher that I'm using for this is my LA Minerals and my Barry M. So I'm going to be using two. First of all, I'm going to apply the Barry M one, which is a like a a very bright orange. But into darker skin, this goes in really, really well. And the colour is it's just called Blusher Five. So I'm just going to get my brush, which has disappeared. Here it is. <laughs> I'm just going to get my large um, powder brush from the Royal and Lang Nickel Kit. And I'm just going to apply that onto my cheeks load up both sides and I can do them both and go. So I'm just going to apply that there. And just buff that in. On top of that, I'm going to be using my LA Minerals in Sheer Bliss, which is this colour here. It's a nice shimmery colour just to give, just to lift that colour slightly. Then for the lip colour, I'm going to be using a colour by Lord and Berry, just like this. And the colour is Cinnamon, I believe it is. Yeah, Cinnamon, 7006. It's quite a, a nude brown colour. So I'm just going to apply that. To my lips like that. I'm just going to tidy up my brows a tiny little bit. I'm just going to go back in with my pencil and just make sure they're nice and tidy. The brows aren't too defined in this look, which is why I allowed the um, foundation to go onto it as I was putting on the highlighter colour in the centre there. So, this is the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This one is the deco doll so it's quite big on lashes okay so i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching guys bye